Good afternoon. We're at 15429 Long Cypress Drive. And uh, this listing's been on for three days. Looks down kind of a little bit. It's not too busy of a street here at all. There's somebody else looking at the house, so an additional car out front. But it's been nice and quiet since I've been back here. I was waiting for Sharon for about 20 minutes and nobody else drove by. Two car garage. The grass is an opportunity waiting to happen. And it does look like it's got sprinkler heads. Um, so we'll have to check and see if they work. And it's plumb or it's got the um, bolts for the storm shutters. Right. Now, right when you walk in, we've got two bedrooms to the right and straight ahead to the living room. And just off the living room is the master bedroom. So to the left here, if we walk in, nice gray island. It's got the granite countertop and tile floors here. Plenty of cabinets. Um, they did do some unique painting in here, customized their home. And it does look like these cabinets have been painted um, and maybe honestly painted by hand. So the refinishing of the cabinets, I don't know. I mean, my cabinet guy could replace all these cabinets if you wanted as well for probably under 10. Um, Cause the paint's been chipped up a bit. Um, got stainless steel appliances, double sink. The front room does have some more unique painting and woodwork. They really tried to make the home cozy for them. Big space though, look at all this area, pendant lights. And then all the way into the kitchen, there's a cafe dining style room. This is a six seater table and it fits in here just fine. Double pantry, let's see, yeah, and it's a little, it's dirty, um, so, you know, we can look past that. All right, heading into the main bedrooms there. Did you guys see the cabinets are painted? Yes. Hmm. Um, engineered hardwood, it looks like, on the floor. Laundry's right off the garage. Um, guessing they either had well that looks like the original paint I don't know why they didn't finish it in here maybe it had a cabinet bedroom number one they have two twin beds in here fits fine so good size room carpet is completely shot so that's not stuff you're gonna want to be walking on bathroom number one good size bathroom doesn't look like they painted these well, they might have. Ugh. It's kind of a chalky paint. Shower has some deferred maintenance. That looks pretty solid. Medicine cabinet. Air handler. Now, let's see, there's a date on here. Five kilowatts. And I'll check on the date storage closet and bedroom number two again the carpet shot good size room okay I'll head back out into the living area so we were wondering you know right at first walk-in man that's a color commitment um, we were wondering why so inexpensively priced really all these floors need done a house this size see is gonna if you put new tile or even luxury vinyl throughout it i think you'd be around 12 to fifteen thousand, just from my experience look for the good stuff huge master bedroom it's great but again really gross carpet Good size master closet and master. He's even painted a dresser. That's funny. 
I'm gonna take the paint away from her. Looks like they started a remodel in the bathroom and didn't finish. So, nice thick granite countertops, dirty walls, the built-in. And again, someone painted the cabinets. All right, let's go outside where we'll spend all our time. Nice high ceilings, not seeing any cracks. Slides real good. Outdoor kitchen, it's got a do-it-yourself um, tiling on the front of it over tiling that was on the front of it. So it's like they changed their mind um, and didn't do a very good job. Got a built-in grill, granite countertop. And this is a beauty. Now this is the type of pavers that they're using pretty in the, just the past couple years. So I'm guessing this pool is not very old, um, but it again, looks like do it yourself. Like maybe somebody put the pavers in themselves. Not 100% even. Artificial grass. And there's an opportunity with painting the house. <laughs> but it looks like, good news is, they've been filling the stucco. It's Pebble Tech pool. Big one. Jeez. Artificial grass is just literally pieced, like they got rolls of it and pieced it together in even a couple different shades, unfortunately. Nice little fire pit area. You can see where the vision was, for sure. Huge pool. The roof looks good. I do not see a salt cell. taken up most of the backyard. It's great. All right, let me know what you think.